More than 100 breeds attracting a crowd of 50,000 humans watching for contenders for best in show. <laughs> Marveling at how high, how far they can soar. This is amazing. It's action packed. It's fun. I mean, I love dogs, obviously. This whole event has been just a serotonin fueled morning um, and just rooting for the dogs. Small, big, giant jumps has been just an absolute joy. The Great American Dog Show is taking place over three days at McCormick Place. Hosted by the International Kennel Club of Chicago, it is a tradition that began more than 100 years ago. It's one of the first dog shows ever. It was in Chicago and it was the Chicago Kennel Club. And it was some sporting dog guys that got together and wanted to see who had the best dog. Dogs diving, dogs showing off their tricks and flaunting their good looks. What's her name? Vera. 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 The Alaska Malamute, Bedlington Terror, Afghan Hound. It survived thousands of years uh, despite people and wars and everything else. But they're not that common in Afghanistan anymore. They've come to America, Australia, uh, Europe, and England, and they live as wonderful pets. Meet the Breeds allows fans to get oh so close and to get some advice from the experts on the breeds that may be the best fits for their families. Do you have a dog? Two. You have two? Does this make you want to take home another dog? Or? Obviously. This is cool. I've never seen it in person. I've only seen it on TV and in a video, so it's cool to see it in person. The highlight of the weekend, competition is on for top dog of the show. And it's not just pretty. These dogs are bred to do something. These sporting dogs still, most of them hunt today. They're doing it out there today. At McCormick Place, Judy Wang, WGN News.